Hi, this is Hank Hendergraff, president of the Christian Research Institute and host of the Bible Answer Man broadcast with another Hank Unplugged Short. I was thinking this morning about the fact that over the last few weeks, I have been reading voraciously a wide variety of genres, including James Michener's The Bridge at Undo, and then Sarah's Key, another book titled A Long Walk with Mary. And there are, of course, many others, most notably the Bible. I'm reading books that even give stirring glimpses into the life of a person in a prison camp. Those who were imprisoned during the Stalin years, 1924 through 1953. One of those books, and I was just reading this this morning. See if this makes any sense. The book says something like 25 people were assigned to our barracks. You could see the truck had been arduous. The prisoners were pushed into the barracks. They looked like mere shadows rather than people. They could barely stand. Their life was oozing out of them. Outside it was freezing. They had not been fed for two days, and they had not slept for three nights. Well, the book goes on. I won't continue, but my point is, books are stimulating. They're informative. They're invigorating. They enrich your life. There's so many benefits, discipline and vocabulary and memory, creativity and reasoning and and even relaxation. And it can even stave off diseases such as Alzheimer's. Think about it. Some of the most engaging conversations you could possibly imagine are in communion with absent authors. Maybe you'll never meet them, but they can enrich your life. The possibilities are virtually limitless. I hope you'll pick up a book today and get hooked on reading all over again. And don't forget the daily discipline of reading the Word of God. So long for now.